Hey everybody, it's Ed. What we are looking at is you know, basically a book that I have filled with concert ticket stubs of concerts that I have attended throughout my life. And I thought it would be fun to uh, go through it and see some of the shows that I have been to. Now, unfortunately, this does not represent every concert I have been to, um, as certain stubs uh, have been lost, unfortunately. Uh, I would have to say this is probably, well, I would say between 50 to 70 percent of the concert tickets of shows that I've been to through my life. So, without further ado, let's go through them. And uh, if there's anything specific that I remember or stands out, I will, you know, possibly get into it. But uh, I believe this was the last time that uh, we went to see Van Halen with Dave. Not even real Van Halen, unfortunately, no Michael Anthony involved. This was back in 2015, four years ago already. Uh, this was the Monsters of Rock tour from 1988. This was at Giant Stadium. Actually, uh, I recorded this show, so I have this on, on cassette somewhere uh, from my perspective. But the other bands that played, uh, Metallica was there that time. Uh, who else was there? Christ, I can't even remember. It's been a long time. And we have 1986 Van Halen at the Meadowlands. Uh, first time that Sammy toured with them. And then at the Madison Square Garden, October 11th, 1988. And then the next night at Nassau Coliseum. This one uh, actually was probably the closest I ever sat for them. This was Section B, 1, seventh row. But basically it got right up to the stage. It was a freaking awesome night. Had a lot of fun. More Van Halen, 2007. It's so when they started touring with Dave again <clears throat> and Wolfgang, Eddie's son. This is 99, I'm oh, sorry, 91 rather. This would be 91 as well. And this was 1995 at Nassau Coliseum. Then we have July 11th, 98. Where was this? Jones Beach. Awesome. And then Madison Square Garden, 98. Oh, I think, yeah, that was with Gary Sharon, I believe. Eesh. All right, then we get some Billy Joel's coming up. This is a New Year's Eve show in 1989, 30 years ago already. Q Ripes, where's the time go? This was a Jones Beach show. Uh, this was like a charity f show that he did for the Baymen of Long Island. So that was that, 1990, 1986, the Coliseum. As you can see, they're not in any particular order. The Garden, 93. Where is this? At the Garden again, 98. Here we get some Cheap Trick. Where was this? Westbury Music Fair, 91. Tramps in the City, 94. June 18th, 98. June. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. All right, so this one is 98. 31 years ago today, on the day that I am making this video, as it is June 18th, 2019. Oh my god. What, oh, gee, no, 21 years. Okay, and then we have Cheap Trick at Westbury from 2013. And we have an iHeart Radio wristband. That was from a couple of years back, maybe three or four years ago. Uh, they did an iHeart Radio when they released uh, an album. Bang, zoom, crazy, hello. All right, and then this was just in March when I went to see them. Widowmaker, that is D. Snyder's band after Twisted Sister. Five years after Twisted Sister, he formed that band. So that was from 93. All right, and then we have ACDC from 88, White Lion. Here's the first show I ever went to on my own. Well, I wouldn't say on my own, but, you know, without parental or adult supervision. So this is 1983, I was 14, hopping on a train to Madison Square Garden with my buddy, to go and see ACDC in the nosebleed sections. It was pretty cool, man. Had a good night. Uh, this was Lover Boy Zebra, and the only reason I went was I wanted to see Zebra, and this was at Nassau Coliseum. David Lee Roth at Malibu Nightclub, 1994. I don't even know what I can say about this. I just remember... Being there that night and 
just thinking how the mighty had fallen. It was it was a really sad show. It was a really sad showing. Uh, it was wow. I mean, put it this way: uh, at one point, the drummer threw his stick out into the audience, and you just heard clink, ka clink, 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 and yeah. So that was. All right, Rush, Mr. Big, 1990, and this was at Coliseum. We have Rush again at the Garden, 91. Motley Crue, I remember going to this one also. This was 1985, so I was 16. Again, at the, uh, at, not, what is it, Madison Square Garden. Again, I'll go with my friends on the train. Motley Crue in 87, this one, it was basically the show where I left after the second song and decided I would never want to see them again live because basically all they did was blow explosions to try to make you deaf, I guess, so you couldn't hear how shitty they sounded. So, yeah, that was that was it for me with them. So, Boston, 87, Meadowlands, yes, at Nassau Coliseum in 88, yes, at Jones Beach, 91. Anderson Bruford Wakeman Howe at the Coliseum. I got to meet them. They did a signing at the time at Tower Records. I had the album signed by them, that album that they released with that title. And uh, sold it since <laughs> a couple of, well, a long time ago. All right, Dio in 85. This one I remember distinctly because I saw some poor bastard get his face pretty much blown off by an M80. So that was not good. Uh, that was Twisted Sister at the Felt Forum, 1987. Ozzy at the Coliseum, 86. That was the uh, Ultimate Sin Tour. Paul Stanley, my friend, took me to this. Um, this was an interesting show. This was uh, this actually introduced me to Warrant. And I had never heard of Warrant before. And I gotta say, I was actually impressed. They put on a really good show and they sounded really good live. Uh, Striper, 1988, Radio City Musical. Uh, funny enough, I met these guys that night. Uh, they had an extra backstage pass, and basically I got to meet the band. It was really cool, except for Oz. I didn't get to meet the guitarist. He broke his foot coming off the stage. So we basically just waved him as he was being carted out in a, you know, a stretcher. Uh, Dread Zeppelin, this was a fun show. Saw them. Was at the Grand. Got to touch the big old gold belt on Tortelvis. That was fun. Howard Stern show U.S. Open Source. That was a fun night. Uh, if you have the video, you briefly see me at the very end uh, when Sam Kennison's performing and people are rushing the stage. I was one of them. <laughs> Squeeze 1989. My buddy Adam again took me to this. Um, it was a good show. I, I wasn't really a big fan, but they, they, they put on a good show. The Farewell Tour for The Who 30 years ago. Giant Stadium. Mm -hmm. Farewell My Ass The Firm saw these guys Both tours uh, The original album and, and this was the um, Mean Business tour I don't know what happened to the original ticket Jimmy Page 1988 That was the Outrider tour George Carlin It was my birthday 1992 Oh god George Carlin again 2001 Oh god who was this This was 1983 This is the Kinks Okay, that was the Kinks. Kinks again. 85. Kinks, 89. Kinks, 93. This is the Kinks again. Don't know what the date was, I forget. This is a great show. Set pre it was, even though it says row four, um, there was only, there was no seats in front of me, so I was basically right up against the stage, right in front of Ray. We had a great time. Uh, threw the plates up with the song requests, and at the end of the show, Ray Davies walked over to me, handed me that pick, and said, thank you. And I was just, like, floored. It was freaking awesome. 95 at Westbury for the Kinks, then Ray Davies at the Academy, 95. Ray Davies at the Westbeth, uh, Westbeth Theater on Broadway, or Off-Broadway, whatever the hell it is, 96. Ray Davies, August 2000. And then he was supposed to play the Vanderbilt, uh... September 19th, 2001, but because of two, um, September 11th, that, that show wound up getting canceled. And then uh, this was the New York Steel show, which was uh, basically a fundraiser for September 11th. And then uh, my friend's birthday back in 2008, we went to see Cheech and Chong at, where the hell was that? I still call it Westbury Music Fair, but they, it's called something else at this point. 
But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I thought I'd go do that, and share that with you. And again, unfortunately, this is not all the shows that I have been to, but a good portion of them. And uh, oh, and, well, this one actually was my wife. I didn't go to this one. I lived up to my promise. All right, everybody. Want leave a comment? And as always, be good to yourselves, good to each other. Thanks for watching. Take care.